a renewable grid is not going to be able to cope with the demand of electric vehicles. But it turns out that the batteries in the EVs can save us. Renewable energy is one of the biggest and most important event of our lifetimes. It is absolutely integral to solve the climate crisis, however it's going to put a large demand on the grid. Renewables are intermittent sources of power, solar does not generate electricity during nighttime, and wind power does not work without wind. Combine this with an added electricity demand of 40% from the EVs and now you have a very big problem. In this video you are going to learn how the EVs themselves are going to solve this problem for us. Electricity generation is responsible for 25% of our carbon dioxide emissions. Meanwhile, the transportation sector is responsible for 29%, of which 80 is from road transportation. So we are going to need to pivot to renewable energy and electric vehicles. There is no other workable solution to the climate crisis. This means we need some way of storing energy for times we don't have any energy generation. Let's take a look at a normal summer day in California. The electricity demand is highest during 8 p.m. as people come back from work and lowest at night time as people are sleeping. So let's assume all electricity is generated by solar. This means there's no electricity during the night. But you know, we could live with that. We're supposed to sleep then anyways, right? However, even to have electricity at 6 p.m. we would need to have a massive overproduction at noon as there's no way to store electricity. Add in EVs with their 40% extra power demand and the overproduction gets even more ridiculous. In fact, not even wind power would save us. So what should we do? Build the massive batteries? Well yeah, but maybe we don't need to build that many of them. In fact, we can use the electric vehicles to build a massive distributed battery. But first, let's check out the brief but interesting history of EV charging. First you have naive charging, just plug your car into the socket and it'll charge, not very interesting to talk about. But if you remember the graph of power consumption, there is very little power consumed at night. This makes the prices for electricity lower during that time. So the next obvious step is to just add a timer that will charge during night time. This way the EV owner saves money on power and the grid's power consumption overall becomes more stable. The step after this is to stop and start charging based on signals from the grid. Electricity needs to be consumed the moment it's created. We may not consume too much or too little at any moment, we must always consume the exact amount. There are times when power needs to be consumed as there is too much or stop being consumed as there is not enough. Having the grid decide when to charge would solve these issues. The final step after this is to connect the car to the grid as a potential power source or rather as a battery. If the grid needs more power the EV can simply respond by supplying some back with the added benefit that the owner gets paid for the service decreasing their costs of owning the car. This might in fact become a 200 billion dollar market when these technologies have matured and EV penetration has increased just a little bit. So imagine the potential revenue for combined EV and EV charger makers like a Tesla. Not only that, but the societal benefits are absolutely massive as well. Building out the bidirectional EV to grid charging infrastructure could stop us from needing to build out as much as 30% electricity generation capacity as we would otherwise need. Which is massive! Renewables do cause greenhouse gases when being built out and we are going to transition to renewable energy and electric vehicles no matter what and this solution could play an integral part in it. So this all sounds great, but how do I invest you might ask? Well aside from buying a big car maker, there are a few companies creating this charging infrastructure. One of these is Nuve. It's a company spun out from research from the University of Delaware, founded 10 years ago and have already been in business for 4 years, primarily in Denmark. Their current plan? is school buses in the United States. This might sound kind of strange, but it's actually a fantastic target. Because school buses are large, school buses are idle 95% of the time, and electrifying school buses are part of the US government's infrastructure bill. Two and a half billion dollars are earmarked to replace thousands of combustion school buses with new modern electric buses. Additionally, Nuve has a partnership with Bluebird, which is a large school bus company. That means they deliver their technology with models that Bluebird sells. Circling back, school buses being large, having equally large batteries and being idle most of the time means they are perfect batteries. As they are always used the same time of day, it's very easy to make sure enough batteries in there to be used. And the rest of the time they can just be a battery for the grid, evening out spikes in power. And also earning the schools some extra revenue. In the test they ran in Denmark, Nuve repaid 25% of the cost of the vehicles. So maybe kids will finally get free lunch at school. But in general, this is one of the hidden compelling opportunities that are arising from the massive shift our energy sources are currently taking. It might just save the planet and who knows, there is probably a company that is going to make a lot of money doing this. Anyways, that is Nuve trying to create a massive battery from the scent of electric vehicles. Do you think they will succeed or is the entire idea dumped? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. 
And as always, this video was for entertainment and educational purposes only. Do not take it as investment advice because I am not your investment advisor. Have a great day everybody.